Good evening, Evelyn. How are you? Some words I I can't talk <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh, really? What happened? No, I I driving right now. So oh, okay, okay, about okay. About ten ten minutes, I I think I I going to be at home. So oh, perfect, perfect, yeah. Good camera and <laughs> Yeah, focus, focus on your driving because that's dangerous to be driving yes. and to be driving and speaking at the same time. Yes, yes, it does. Uh, and thank God it's not raining right now. Yes, uh, bueno, right now I, I'm using the tool of my car, so. Oh, okay. Not, so <laughs> You're, you don't have the phone on your hand, so that's yes, important. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Very good. Hello, Nubia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay. Thank you, teacher. And you? I am doing great, thank God. Very happy to be here with you. To see you after vacation. That's very nice. Very what did nice. you what did you do? Did you enjoy your vacations? Mm, I I stayed in my home. You stayed at home? Yes. So that's, I think that's the best place to be in the vacation. Hello, Janet, how are you? Hi, good evening, miss. How are you? How was your vacation? Yeah, a little tired. Really? Yeah. And it is supposed to be for you to rest. <laughs> I don't be resting. You didn't rest. Oh. Imagine. Well, but at least you you um, spend time with your family and all that, and that is like the most important part of the vacation, right? Yeah, you look so so beautiful today tonight. Ah, thank you very much. It's the vacation time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's the vacation look. That's why I okay. I, I have a different hairstyle today. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for the, for the, how to say, it? Very, the very compliment. Very, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Ah, you made me blush. Oh my God. <laughs> I showered today, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Today, because, because it's Monday. Yeah, because it's Monday after vacation. I mean, it's, I don't know, it, it's the time I said. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Marta. Hello, Carlos. Briselda, welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening Hello, Mr. Carlos. Hey, I was missing you a lot. Come on. I felt that this week was very long. And I was like, where are my students? I said, and you in El Cuco, in El Tunco, enjoying. No, no, no. <laughs> In my house. You are in your house. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a, that's the best place to be. You see, even Canelo is participating in the class. Well, I can see. Hello, hello, hello. I can see Gerardo now. I can see Miguel already connected. So that's Hi, that's hello. Hello, hello. Did you enjoy your vacations? Yes, teacher, and you? I did. I did enjoy my <laughs> vacations. Okay. Along with my little, with my little one. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I That's have a four-year-old kid. I mean, it's like a lot of, you have a lot of things to do me, with, me, with a little kid. Me, me too. Oh, so yeah, you understand very well everything yeah. that you need to do with a little kid. <laughs> yeah, so I spent a lot of time, a lot of movies, a lot of coloring, a lot of a lot of playing. So it was Back, very good. Exactly. Did you have the opportunity to advance on the platform? Yes, teacher. I finished yes, teacher. last week. That's excellent. Excellent. So make sure that all your scores are over 80 percent or if you have 100 percent that's perfect uh, and 
make sure that you have everything done. We're going to check that on the last two days of this module. We're going to check on the final exam and for sure the last day is going to be just for you to, to tell me about uh, how was it, if you had any difficulties, if you have anything extra that you want to share about the module, everything that we learned. We're going to do a final evaluation there to see what you learned on this module. So prepare, prepare for the last day. August 17 is going to be the last day of pre-intermediate tree. Okay, so we, you have to be very, very, very uh, careful to finish all the things on the platform, to advance in everything. So let's keep, keep that in mind, okay, for, for these coming days. And so from here, who finished everything already? Me. Okay, you finished I... everything. Good. Everything, yeah. Cool, fantastic. Me too. Okay. Good, very good. Okay, so we're advancing. And if you are missing just a little bit, it is okay. I mean, you can just finish among today, tomorrow, and the rest of this week, make sure that you finish every single exercise, okay? So uh, remember, our agreements in the class, practice as much as possible, be respectful and polite, attend all your classes that we're missing just a few, keep your cameras active all the time, uh, advance on the educational platform, and for sure, as you always do, keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group, right? I was having a lot of fun with the messages and everything that you were sending on the, on the WhatsApp group on these vacations. So it was pretty good. So uh, the question for the night, right? The first question that I ask everybody, what did you do on your vacation? Some of you already shared, some others haven't. So. Who went to the beach? Who went out? Uh huh. Who stayed at home? No one. I don't. I be stay at home. at home. You stay at home, and anybody went to the beach? No. <laughs> nah. Me? Oh, Mr. Gerardo. <laughs> Gerardo. Oh, Mr. Gerardo, you went to the beach. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Yes, I I go because the last. Friday, no, last Saturday and Monday. Hey, that's very nice. Excellent. Before well, I stay at home or family. Okay, so you stay at home and then you went to the beach. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, I went to uh, the living room. I went to the background, to the back, uh, to the to the <laughs> front, to the front ground that I have, to the patio. So I was like in a cruise, right? <laughs> That's very nice <laughs> here at home. No, I, I travel, I travel, I visit my mother in Santa Ana and it was very nice. I was there chilling a little bit there. Let's see, who else? Did any of you uh, go to the mountains? I went to the mountains. Oh, Evelyn went to the mountains. Yes. That's fantastic. I went to Metapan. Oh, and it was like, a, how do you say cabanas? Uh, cabins. Uh, it was like cabins. So, yeah, we... Did you go to Monte Cristo? No, no, no. It's it near from Angiato. Oh, but, uh -huh. uh, hey, it's that's like uh, 10 minutes about the, uh, just like 10 minutes from the center of Metapan. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, that's very yeah. nice. Really, really beautiful. Good. So you see, recommended by Evelyn. Yes. <laughs> very, very nice. Excellent. So today we're going to uh, work a little bit on what we started working before vacations, uh, creating questions with how, right? Remember, we started comparatives, we started superlatives, and uh, we were making sentences about the different geographical places and all that, right? So today we're going to go over a little bit on how to create sentences with how, right? Remember, this is what we were doing before, right? The, the comparatives, superlatives, right? And on these ones, for example, what is the comparative and the superlative form for the adjectives that I have here, okay? So I need you please to get your notebook, 
you are going to get your notebook there and we're going to work a little bit remembering how to create comparatives and superlatives. So please, on your notebook, I have 10 adjectives here. Well, I have nine because I did one already. And I need you please to create the comparative form and the superlative form of each of them, okay? So on your notebook, please, I need you to make the little list. I left there some of the uh, comparative notes, right, on how to create them. So please, I need you to create the sentences in your notebooks. I made the first one, the easier, the busiest. And I have cool, friendly, heavy, nice, noisy, old, safe, small, and wet, okay? Once you have it, please, I need you to send me one on the chat, okay? When you finish, I need you to send me one on the chat so we can check on spelling. Uh, sorry, teacher, is yes? a, um, a complete sentence or no, no, no. Only, the word? only the word, only the adjective. Okay. Uh, if you want to make a complete sentence, that's perfect, right? I am not going to say no. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Go ahead. It's going to take a little bit more time, but it's better. It's good. Right now, only the adjective. As I did in the example. And make sure that you send it uh, on the chat when you finish. Let me open the chat so we can check it. So this is to see if you studied or not in the vacations. Good, we have one from Biselda, very good. Okay, remember to send your answers on the chat. Send one on the chat. We have one from Briselda already. No. Great, I have one from Gerardo. Remember the superlative Gerardo, you have to use the. In this case, you have cooler. The coolest, good. Janet, very good. You chose a small and it's the smallest, right? The last one, it's, we just ate a letter there. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We understand, that's the idea. We understand the idea. Okay, that's why we need to have a dinner before the class. If not, we eat the letters. <laughs> Great, I have three. And what are the other ones? I have 17 students connected. Go ahead. Han venido tímidos de la vacación. Okay, I have three, three, three answers on the chat. All of you are very silent and very quiet now. It's like, ah, the vacation. Well, I'm going to keep on waiting for the other ones to come on the chat so we can continue uh, checking and correcting. So for number two, what is the comparative form of cool? Cooler. Cooler, right? Cooler. 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 And here. Excellent. And what is the superlative form? The coolest. coolest. The coolest. coolest. Very the good. Coolest. Coolest. Very nice. Thank the you, coolest. Umberto. Thank you, Briselda. I got more uh, of your answers. Friendly. 
friendlier. 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 Very good. Friendlier and more friendly. Very good. Friendlier. And number four. Heavier. And the heavier. Heavier. Heavier and the heaviest. Good. Very good. So number three. Number three, you say friendlier, the friendliest. Good, heavy, heavier, the heaviest. Good, number five, nice. Be more nice. Nicer, nicer. Nicer, because it's a short adjective, remember, remember right? Nicer. Mm. The nicest. The nicest, very good, the nicest. What about the next one? We have noisy. Noisier. Noisier, Noisier and? The nicest. The noisiest. The noisiest. Very good. Number seven. Old. Older. 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 The, older. the older. The oldest. The oldest. Good. Very good. Number eight. Safer. Safer. And the safest. safest. The safest. Good. Number nine. Smaller. 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 And the smaller, the smallest, the smallest right? E S T, the smallest. Good. Smallest. Number ten, you have wet. Wetter. 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 And the wet. The wettest. The wettest. Very Wetter. good. Very good job. Now, if I would like to make a sentence with friendly, either in comparative or superlative, who can give me an example? Um. Anna is uh, more friendlier. More friendlier, than, it's friendlier. It's friendlier. Uh -huh. Friendlier yeah. than Susie. Good. Very good. If you want to make a sentence with old, even in comparative or superlative, how can you make it old? Uh -huh. My grandfather is the most older. My father. Okay, and remember that old is a short adjective, so it cannot be the most older. It's like it's older than, and in the superlative, the oldest. Okay, so. Okay. Excellent. The next one will be uh, nice. Can you make a sentence with nice either in the comparative or in the superlative form? Nice. 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 La libertad is nicer than San Salvador. Excellent. La Libertad is nicer than San Salvador. Very good. Excellent job. I got some extra answers on the chat. Let's see. Nicer, the nicest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Good. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Okay. We don't have beautiful here, but it's a very good adjective that we can use tonight. Small or smaller and the smallest. Cooler, the coolest. Okay. Thank you very much for the ones who shared the answers on the chat and also for the ones who helped me with the sentences. So remember, uh, comparatives, ER, superlatives, EST, short adjectives are ER or EST, long adjectives are more or the most, okay? You have to be very careful with that and not to confuse the adjectives, right? You don't have to confuse, for example, you can say the longer, the most longer, right? So we have to be very, very careful on the creation of the comparatives and the superlatives. Okay, let's continue here. And the next thing that we're going to do today, it's a little bit of reading, right? We're going to read a little bit about the Antarctica. What do you know about the Antarctica? What ideas do you have when you read the word Antarctica? Very cold. Very cold, uh-huh. Penguinos. Penguins, <laughs> right? Penguins. What else? Ice. Ice. Good. Ice. Science. No. Scientific studies. 
It's no scientific studies. Very good. What else? Uh, it's the biggest island. Uh -huh, it's the biggest island, right? It's the biggest island. Good, very good. So today we're going to read a little bit about Antarctica, right? I am going to be uh, reading everything, but I really need you to go over the reading right now. I need you to scan the reading and to tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of this word? If you find words that are new for you, okay? Before I read, I need you to analyze the reading for new words or new vocabulary, okay? So I am going to give you some minutes for you to analyze the reading and for you to go over it, like in a scan uh, way. Okay, lo vamos a escanear así como finding new words or new vocabulary. And if you have it, ask me, teacher, what is the meaning of, uh, just to give you an example, windiest. Ah, o sea, like el que hace mucho viento, el lugar con más viento del mundo, right? So I need you to analyze the reading, go over it, analyze for new vocabulary, and then I am going to read it for you. Go ahead. Teacher, what means wild, wildlife? Okay, wildlife. I am going to mark it. Let me see. It's right here. Let me see. It's in the first paragraph or in the second one? In the, in the first. Uh, the, the last uh, sentence, the last Ah, okay, line. okay. I found it. This one. Now Why? here. Uh-huh. Mm, sorry. <laughs> now here. Now what? Now, now where? Now, now here. Okay. Ah. Now where? Nowhere. 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 Uh -huh. nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Good. Ningún lugar. Yes. It is like nowhere else. Como ningún otro. Como ningún. Okay. Wildlife is vida salvaje. Wildlife. Yeah. 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 Antarctica is the coldest and windiest. Okay, but the windiest, windiest means, for example, when there is a lot of wind, it's like, mm. and you are like, oh my God, this is the windiest place in the world, right? El lugar con más viento. Yeah. yeah. So it works it's, meaning seals. Uh, seals. Focus. Yes. Ah, okay. Seals. Yeah. Uh, eh, en español sonaría chistoso si le digo es el lugar más ventoso del mundo. <laughs> es lleno de viento, right? The windiest. Any other question? Whale Sail. is poca. Uh, seals are poca. Whales son ballenas. ballenas. Oh, ok. Thanks. Sail. Sí. Sail Ballena. is a navegar. In this case, navego, because okay. it's in past. Okay. Any other question? Todas las preguntas son bienvenidas. No va a creer que, ay, no, es que esa palabra se ve bien fácil y si la pregunto, todos se van a reír. No, 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 it's okay. You ask. Sail is, is a navegar o yes. Yeah, navegó in this case. Uh, okay. The ozone layer sería la capa de ozono. Yes. Okay. The ozone layer. Yes. And you have it two times here. Inner, inner what is thinner or thinner? Okay. Thinner, thinner, thinner. and thinner. Yeah. It means that the ozone layer was this big. But with the pass of the time, it has been like thinner, 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 thinner. Oh, yeah. And now it's just like this. Se está adelgazando. Ajá, exactly. Okay. Just like I, I, I want to do. <laughs> it's like it's like when you when you fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> when you fall in love, you start getting yeah. thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner, and they say, mm. Damn it. It's like Next. Uh, it's not helping me. Yeah. And in, in some cases, here in El Salvador happens the contrary. 
Yeah. When you, when you fall in love and when you have a sweetheart or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whatever, then you start getting fatter, 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 fatter. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Because he's the says thinner and thinner. It's not in thinner. thinner. Okay. Uh -huh. do, you, do, you, do you remember the when you, you what you uh, the in, uh, how do you say pintura in English? The, the latex. Ah, it's thinner. paint. Paint. It's paint. thin. Paint. Long and it's paint. thinner. So, it's thinner in yes, this case, you, is the, it's the solvent <laughs> that you use for uh, the... The solvent, yes. Uh -huh. But thinner is, a, is the, like a, a, the teacher a few minutes ago say so. Uh, <laughs> Adelgaz. Yes. And indeed, yeah. what thinner does is to thin paint, right? Okay. I, I felt very loud. In this case, it means that the the thinner thinner and thinner. No, 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 wow. eso, eso no lo recomiendo, teacher Nati. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. What is the meaning of hole? The hole. Oh, yeah. The biggest the hole. The biggest hole. Yes. The biggest hole. Oh. So, that you can go through. Agujero. Agujero. And, and what means uh, when it say is getting warmer? Warmer, it means that eh, se está poniendo más caliente. caliente. Okay. Warm. Yes. Because what the meaning world worldwide. Worldwide is all over the world, right? Worldwide. Alrededor de todo el mundo. Right? Worldwide. Wow. Yes. So where is worldwide? Let me see. Ah, it's right here. Get it safe, teacher. Which one? The ending to keep it safe. Ah, to keep it safe. To mantenerlo a salvo. Keep oh. it safe. Keep it safe. Yeah. It's like when, when your grandmother gives you money and so like, keep it safe. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it happens. It happens. So is it clear? Do you, you don't have any other question about the vocabulary? No. Okay. When you say fairly short, what do you mean with that? But the only spent fairly short periods there. Uh -huh. eh, son cada vez más pequeños los peri estos periodos de tiempo. Okay. When you mean when you mean fairly short, it means relativamente ah, cortos, cortos, right? Cortos, yeah. Yes. So that that's the way we use it. Okay. So the Antarctica. The Antarctica. I am going to tell you one word and you have to give me the sentence where the word is, okay? For example, if I give you the word summer, you say, ah, in the summer, the sun shines for 24 hours a day, okay? And you give me the sentence. Is it clear what we're going to do first? Yes, no, yes? Yes, yes, no. yes. Okay, yeah. where is the word Grow. Very few plants grow there. Excellent. Very few plants grow there. Thank you, Griselda. You were on the spot, on the game. The next one. Where is the word twice? Twice. It's nearly twice the size of Australia. Good. The next one. Where is the word periods? What? Periods. Period. You only spend very short periods there. Very good job. Very good. You are in the game. Let's see. Where is the word lonely? Scientists think that it's called in lonely place. Can teach. Very good job, Rizalda. Rizalda is on the game. Very good. Then next one. Where is the word dark? 
uh, uh, but in the winter, uh, it's cold, completely dark for about three months. Very good job, very good job. That, that, that is to make you think and wait, wait, what is it, what is it, what is it? And to make you scan the reading in a very quick way. Listen, this is uh, Antarctica about. Antarctica is the most southern continent in the world. Let me just mute the microphones so we can listen. It says, let's go. Antarctica is the most southern continent in the world. It is like nowhere else on earth. It is much larger than Europe and nearly twice the size of Australia. It is an icy plateau with the South Pole at its center. Antarctica is the coldest and windiest place in the world, even colder and windier than the North Pole. In the summer, the sun shines for 24 hours a day, but in the winter, it's completely dark for about three months. Very, flu very few plants grow there but there is some wildlife, including whales, seals, and penguins. And penguins, sorry. When Captain James Cook sailed around the continent in 1770s, he found no one living there. Today, a few scientists work in Antarctica, but they only spend fairly short periods there. Many scientists in Antarctica are studying the ozone layer. The ozone layer is getting thinner and thinner worldwide. The biggest hole is over Antarctica, where the weather is getting warmer. Scientists think that this cold and lonely place can teach us a lot about the earth and how to keep it safe. The biggest problem of the ozone layer is over Antarctica, right? The whole of the ozone layer is on Antarctica. And that's why it's getting warmer and the ozone layer is becoming thinner and thinner. Good. Do you remember all the information from the reading? Yes? No? A little bit? Maybe. A little bit. A little Maybe. Bit. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe they say, okay, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Who can tell me about this? Europe is bigger than Antarctica. Yes or no? Answer. And mm, later we're no. going to check. Oh, no. no. Oh. False. It's false, you say. Okay. You say that it's false. It's false. The North Pole is the coldest and windiest place in the world. True. No. False. No. no. True. False. false. True. False. 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 Yes. Okay, false, you say. In Antarctica, it never gets it never gets dark in the summer. False. Yes. True. 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 True, you say. Okay. There are a lot of animals and birds in Antarctica. False. No. False. 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 Okay. Captain Cook found a few scientists living in Antarctica. False. No. False. False, you say. The False. weather in, in Antarctica is getting colder and colder. True. True. False. True. It's getting colder and colder. False. No, false. No. It's, it's the false. opposite, no. right? No. Exactly, right? It's getting warmer and warmer, it's right? Warmer. It's warmer and warmer. Good. So, as you can see here, right, uh, it is. Uh, it's like nowhere else on end. It is much uh, larger than Europe and no. nearly twice the size of Australia. So Antarctica is not a, a small place, it's a very, very big place, right? And for sure, there are just whales, seals, and penguins. There are no birds in, in Antarctica. And for sure, no one was living there when Captain Cook arrived. And it gets very dark uh, in the winter, it doesn't get very sunny. So uh, you have very good memory, kids. My God, it was very good, right? Most of your answers were correct. Very good job. 
the North Pole is the coldest and windiest place in the world? No. What is the coldest and, windy, and windiest place in the world? We just read about it. Uh, eh, 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 um... <laughs> we just we really... just mentioning what was the name of the place. I I can hear the question. Okay, it says the North Pole is the coldest and windiest place in the world, and you say that it's false. So now I ask you, what is the coldest and windiest place in the world? Antarctica. 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 Very good. Antarctica. Excellent. Antarctica never gets dark in the summer. That was correct. There are a lot of animals and birds in Antarctica. You said no. What types of animals do we have in Antarctica? Penguins. 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 Seals, whales, seals, 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 seals. Uh, yes. and whales, and right? Seals, seals. Sails is ventas. Seals, foca. Okay. Seals. 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 We are selling. You are, hey, you are selling. <laughs> you are selling <laughs> we are selling penguins and ice. Yeah, you are selling yes. seals. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Ben, Shoes. <laughs> <everything. Bye. laughs> Hey, everything you know? we can we can sell everything okay <laughs> good excellent job i need one volunteer to help me to read just for us to practice reading we are going to go over this and i'm going to have one volunteer for the first paragraph that it's this one and the second paragraph that goes when captain cook up to keep it safe so i need two volunteers from all my classmates here I have Janet Janita. Good. And who else? I have Janet and let me see. Mr. Umberto, thank you very much. <laughs> Democratic. Okay. Go ahead. Antarctica is the most southern southern continent in the world. It is like nowhere else on earth it is much larger larger than europe and nearly twice the size of australia it is it's an icy plan plateau with the south pole and its center antarctica is the coldest and windiest place in the world even colder and winter, it's completely dark for about three months. Very few plants grow there, but there is some wildlife, including whales, seals, and penguins. Excellent. Now, Umberto, can you continue, please? When cut. When Captain James Cook sailed around the, con the continent in the um, 1770? Yes, good. Uh, he, he found no one living there. Today, a few scientists, scientists. Scientists. Okay. A few scientists were in Antarctica, but but they only spend fairly short periods there. Uh, many scientists in Antarctica are studying in the, the ozone layer. The ozone layer is getting thinner and thinner worldwide. The biggest hole is over an Antarctica, where the, where the weather is getting warmer. Uh, scientists think this that, that, this, that this cool and lonely place can teach us a lot about the hair and how to keep it safe. Excellent. Uh, it can teach us a lot about the earth, right? The earth. The earth. earth. Yes. And we have whales, 
seals and penguins, right? You can say penguins or penguins and the two of them are correct. And an icy plateau, that was good, that was correct. It's like una capa plateada. And let's see, I think that those were the only ones. And scientists, scientists. And for sure, say 1770s, it's good. Remember when you read the dates, you have to divide them and you say 1770s. And that was very, very nice. The Antarctica and I think those were the only things. Okay, claps for your friends. Thank you for being so brave and participate on this reading moment. That was very good. I'm going to take some other volunteers later on. Thank you, Janet, and thank you, Umberto. That was awesome. Okay, so we are going to test a little bit on how much we know. Maybe we are going to get very good answers. What do you think? Which ones do you think are correct from these uh, sentences that I have here? I need you to read them and I need you to think which ones do you consider correct? And you say like, which ones do you consider true? That you say like, maybe yes, France is the most popular country to visit. It has 76 million visitors a year. It can be like, yes, it is. Or not teacher, the most famous country to visit is El Salvador. It has millions of visitors every single year. Analyze the sentence and Tell me, what do you think if you consider that it's true or false? So analyze them and read them all and tell me which from all the sentences do you consider true and which ones do you consider false? And I'm going true. to choose true. eight different volunteers, random, to give me, what do you think? What is your perspective about this? So I need you to read them right now. I'm going to give you two minutes for you to read. Analyze them and tell me. We have China has the greatest number of stores in the world. There are over 19 million stores. A lot of metro centros. Lake Baikal in Russia is the deepest lake on earth. It's 1,637 meters deep. Tokyo, Disneyland is the world's most popular amusement park. It has over 25 million visitors a year. The next one we have the longest non-stop flight is from New York to Singapore. It's 18 hours long. 18 hours on an airplane, oh my God. The busiest airport in the world is London Heathrow with over 55 million passengers a year. Canada has the longest coastline of any country on earth. It's 243,792 kilometers. Oh my God. Canada has a lot of ocean thing. And Easter Island is the world's most isolated island. It's about 3,700 kilometers from the South American continent. Which one do you think that is false? It's like, not nah, teacher, that's false. Uh -huh. I think maybe Tokyo Disneyland is the most is the world most popular amusement park. Okay, is Tokyo false? Tokyo Disneyland is false for you. Okay, so, I think. Good. I move I think my the longer the longest non-stop flight from New York to Singapore. Okay, so this one, you think that it's false, nice. and this one, false. I false. think that can, Canada has the longest coastline of any country on Earth. Okay, Canada doesn't have the longest coastline, you say. Okay, so these three, you think that they are false. They say like, not a teacher. Canada is true. Yes. 
Okay, you see, Humberto is defending there. Like. Any other one that you consider false? The longer, oh, the longer, false. the longer last time fly is true. Okay, <laughs> now you say that it's true. It's true. It's like, no, 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 I consider it true. Okay, so it's not false anymore. Let's see. We're going to leave only Canada has the longest coastline and Tokyo Disneyland. Which other do you consider false? France is the most popular. The business airport. It's false. Okay, false. and the business airport. Those ones you think that no. they are false. For, Let's for see. Me the, uh -huh. the last one is false. This one, false. All of them are false. <laughs> Mm. Hello, Mr. Oscar. Welcome. I think the Tokyo Disneyland is false. Okay, Tokyo Disneyland is false. Me I too. am. I am going to see. I am going to see. Uh, let me choose one volunteer. Let me see. Marta, which one do you think it's false? Martita. Kevin Villalta, which one do you think it's false? Uh -huh. Mr. Kevin Villalta, Mr. Kevin Villalta. Teacher Nat is looking for you. Uh -huh. Segundo llamado para Kevin Villalta. Aha, no te ho votado. ¿Qué pasó? Novia, which one do you think it's false? I think it's false. Um, the longest no, non-stop flights in from New York. Okay, to the longest. Singapore. This one you say false. No, you say. Let's see. False. Sandra, which one do you think it's false? I think that Lake Baikal in Russia is the deepest lake on earth. I think that is false. That is false. Como el amor que me juraba. Okay. So <laughs> the only real one is China has the greatest number of stores in the world. There are over 19 million stores. That's the only one that it's true. I think it's true. No. <laughs> I am going to I am going to be very sorry about this, but all of them are true. <laughs> yes. All of them are real. It's the same delayed by call. And Russia is deep. It's deep. It's, it's the, the deepest, uh, the deepest lake on earth. So yes. I, I have I have to tell you that um, all of them are true. China. So I, all of them are true. The longest non-stop flight is from New York to Singapore. It's 18 hours on the airplane. Imagine if you complain to go to Santa Ana in a, in a, <laughs> in a bus. It's like, I know, hour. I one hour, two hours. Oh, hush. Imagine 18 hours in an airplane. <laughs> from San Salvador to Usulu, three hours. Imagine three if, we, hours. if we complain. Yeah. When we go to San Miguel and say, like, I know, four hours on the bus and here, 18 hours on a non-stop flight, because it is just like shh, 18 hours. I oh. only hope that the, the, the seats are, are comfortable. comfortable. Yes. I Well, <laughs> no, not very I need much. a massage. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you arrive there to Singapore, it's going to be there. So, yes. Yeah, the, the, the site of Disneyland in Tokyo, it's the most popular amusement park with 25 million visitors per year, imagine. And here in Playland Park, we only have like 100. <laughs> France Play is the Lampard. most popular country. Uh, it has about 76 million visitors a year. So imagine all these things are true. Now our culture has spent a little bit more. Now you can say, hey, you see, there is a flight from New York to Singapore, 18 hours. So like, hey, I didn't know. Spreading cultural culture 
around the world. That is something nice. Let's continue here. Here, my dear students, we're going to go with the next exercise. And it's a little conversation. For this conversation, Mr. Miguel Ramirez is going to help me with Evelyn Mariela. Okay, can you help me with the conversation? I am going to Australia next year. Okay. Aren't you? Aren't you from Australia? But... Actually, I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Good. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what is the like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Mountainous. Good. Mountainous. Really? Thank you. Mountainous. Good. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. Or Cook. It's about 30 feet. Three thousand. Three thousand. Hey. <laughs> Three thousand. Eight hundred meters high. Eight hundred. Very good. Remember, when you read these very long numbers, you have to read. You have to divide them, right? Thousands, millions, billions, right? And then you read them like that. Continue. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well. I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about uh, 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear volunteers. My volunteers that I choose them. <laughs> but it's very good. Good. So you have here, I am going to Australia, right? Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? And you say, actually... It's like, bueno, para decirte, en verdad, uh, I'm from New Zealand, right? Oh, I didn't know that. So what it's like there? Como es ahí? Right, what it's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? I would say like, really? Right, we have different pronunciations for really. Right, so like, really, 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 really? Right, it depends on how we impact you are. So like, really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland, it's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Oh, uh, well, maybe I should visit you next year. We are going to go over a little bit on the grammar of this conversation, but I need you to focus on a specific things. For example, the questions, when you say, uh, how high are the mountains? ¿Qué tan alto? Exactly, how far is New Zealand from Australia? And let's see, we have any other question with how? How, 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 how? I think those are the only two questions, right? That we have with how. What is like the? Oh, what it's like there, right? We have these other questions. What is it like there? But the, with how, you say, how high are the mountains? How far is New Zealand? I can ask you, how crowded were the beaches on vacation? How crowded too were much. the beaches? <laughs> it's like too much. How big is El Salvador? Uh-huh. It's not too big. It's not too big. You say, well, it's it's pretty small, right? <laughs> and which one is bigger, Guatemala or El Salvador? Guatemala. Guatemala, Guatemala, like seven times bigger, right? Than our little country. So this is the main focus that I wanted to uh, make clear. When you say the questions with how, when you say how, you use the adjective, the verb, and the complement. You say, how far is New Zealand from Australia? How big is Singapore? How high is Mount Cook? How big is El Salvador, right? How long is the Mississippi River? How long is the Lempa River? 
Who knows? I don't know. Very long. <laughs> it's very yeah. long. <laughs> okay. Uh, how hot it's Oakland in the summer? How cold is it in the winter? Tell me, how hot is San Miguel in El Salvador? Very hot. Celsius. Aha, uh -huh. it's around? It's very hot. Around oh. how many 35, degrees? 34, 35. 34, 35 degrees. 38 degrees. So it's very... In good days. Hot. In good days. <laughs> how cold? How cold is Chalatenango in El Pitalen, in all those places? It's cooler. It's very it's cold. It's like one or two or ten uh, my, degrees. Um, listen. My... At night, it's colder, right? And if I ask you, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Here you have the answer. It's about 2,000 kilometers. Two thousand kilometers. Okay, remember that if you have three zeros here, it's 1,000, right? 1,000. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square, square kilometers. What is the meaning of a square kilometers? Kilometers cuadrados. Very good. How high is Mount Cook? It's a 3,740 meters high. Excellent. 3,740 meters high. How deep is the Great Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. Excellent. Deep is the profundidad, right? How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,000 kilometers long. Okay, 5,970 kilometers long. Kilometers or kilometers, it's okay. Uh, how long is, oh, sorry, how hot is Oakland in the summer? Excellent. When you have here this one, it's degrees, degrees, degrees. Celsius. Oh, degrees. And the last one, how cold is it in the summer? Winter. It goes oh, down no. about, about oh, 10 degrees Celsius. 10 degrees Celsius. Very good job that you're paying attention. I said summer and says winter. winter good you were paying attention right it goes down to about 10 degrees celsius so when you create sentences with how to ask for a specific measurement a specific size or something using an adjective you use how the adjective then you use the verb and then the complement right how how what is the adjective here for the verb to be in this case is and they complement New Zealand from Australia. So this is something that we need to keep in mind when we create these type of questions, to follow that pattern, right? To follow that, that pattern of questions so we don't get confused. I have some other examples here. I'm going to show them to you. This was one that you had on an exam. Do you remember the questions for these answers? Uh, how, 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 how high how is, how is an, the Angel Falls? Angel Falls. How high is Angel high Falls? Very is, good. How high? Here you have the how adjective. How. Remember, you have how plus the adjective plus the verb and is, the complement. Good. What about this one? Uh, California is about 403,970 square kilometers. How long is California? In this case, is how 
uh, how big or how long, right? I think it's how big, how big is the question. Uh, big, what about, because, because it's a square. Uh -huh, it says a square kilometers, how big? The Neil. How, big? how long is the Neil? How long? Exactly, how, how, how long, long, long is the Neil? How Neil long is the Neil? The Neil River, right? And the last one, Washington DC gets up to about 33 Celsius. In the summer. Oh, how hot oh, how is hot. Washington DC? Yes. Is Washington DC? In the, the summer. In, yes. the summer. in the summer. Something that was very complicated at the moment of answering the question on the exam was the punctuation because you have D, period, C, period, comma, right? So we need to the follow, summer. we need to follow down that pattern, right? That was complicated at the moment of creating the answers but very good job you did a very good job on the answers how long? And i think it's the last thing that we're going to do for today before you go i need you to create one question with these different adjectives that i have here for you big tall far deep and long how big is your house? How big is your house? Very good. Any other example? How tall is your uncle? How tall is your uncle? Good. Far? How far is San Miguel City? How far City? is, is, how far is your house? Golfo de Fonseca. How, how far no. is Golfo de Fonseca? Good. How far is your house <laughs> from here? Deep, how deep is Lake. How deep is Ilopango Lake? How deep mm -hmm. is Ilopango Lake? How deep is Guatepeque Lake? Very good. How, uh, the last one how, with long. How long is El Salvador? How long is? How long is El Tunkovich? Uh, Lempa River. How long, how is, long Lempa is Lempa River, Lempa River, right? River. right? How long is Lempa mm -hmm. River? It's, that's a how very good example. River. How long is El Tunco Beach? Maybe we can see in the size of it. It could be a good question. Very good job. Well, my dear students, time flies when you have fun, yes. definitely. Remember to continue working, remember to continue practicing, and remember to advance on the platform. That will be everything for today. I am going to see you tomorrow in the class. So please continue doing the great job you do. And I'm going to see you tomorrow to finish the topic and to continue learning more new things, okay? Have a nice Thank afternoon. You. Well, nice evening now, nice night. Have a great uh, night, sleep well. And I hope to see you tomorrow, the same time in the same channel, okay? Have a beautiful okay. night. Hey. Good night. 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 Take care. See you tomorrow. You too. Bye.